Hello, in today's video I'm going to be making popsicle stick playground equipment for my dwarf hamster and first I'm starting with the swing set so I'm taking seven popsicle sticks and then I'm going to be cutting down two sticks to fit the width of the seven and I'm just going to glue these across to secure them together I'm not sure why seven sticks always seems to be the perfect width for things like this because I use seven for the top of my picnic bench too it just seems to be the way so I did get a comment on that video actually where someone asked what size sticks I used and it never crossed my mind to mention that they're the standard size lolly sticks in the UK which are one centimetre wide by about 11 and a half centimetres tall so if you're planning to make any of these just bear that in mind. So now I've done the swing seat I'm going to move on and make the stand and to do this I'm basically making a square out of four sticks however two that are parallel will be lying flat and the other two will be glued on top on their edges. Did you ever have a stationary set at school and have a set square in it that you never used? Like you'd use the ruler, protractor and compass but never the set square. Well I found its purpose in life because it would have been great for this. Okay next I'm gluing together two more sticks on each side and the sticks that are facing outwards and I'm doing those in a triangle shape. And once I've done those I'm reinforcing the stand by gluing a stick on top of the triangle's points and then I've got the basic shape done. But I'm just going to glue another stick underneath each of the sticks in the square base that were lying flat. And this is just to make sure that the set's completely balanced and not wobbly at all. Then I'm taking some brown string, which will be the ropes of the swing set, and I'm gluing the end of one piece on one side and the end of a separate piece on the other side. You just need to make sure that both pieces are equal length so it won't be wonky. Then I'm threading the ends of the strings through the frame and gluing them onto the opposite ends of the seat. So my strings are about 20cm long but if you want to make this you can always make the strings a little bit longer so the seat hangs lower and vice versa. <laughs> the worst thing about using art glue is the little stringy bits that get everywhere. So once the glue is dried I've gone ahead and flipped the seat around to its proper position and then I'm just gluing the top stick, avoiding the strings, and this is where I'll put another popsicle stick to secure the strings in place. And then we're done. The next piece in this set is going to be the slide, and to start off with, I've cut two sticks down to about six and a half centimetres, and then I'm gluing two popsicle sticks to each end of the cut down sticks, and this will form the base. So once I've done both sides, I'm gluing on two more sticks onto the end of the sticks that I've just stuck down and I'm gluing these perpendicular. This is again where I could have used the set square. Then I'm taking another stick that I've cut down to six and a half centimetres and I'm gluing this around a centimetre from the tops of the sticks I've just glued down and I've just repeated this process again for the other side. Next I'm gluing two more full sticks at a slant from the top six and a half centimetre stick to the full stick at the base and this is going to indicate how steep my slide will be. For the slide itself I'm making it five sticks wide and I'm just going to secure this together by gluing two cut down sticks at the top and bottom and before I stick this onto the frame I'm just measuring the width of the slide because I lost my ruler at this point and I'll be needing about nine of these pieces later on. Then I'm just gluing the slide onto each side of the frame and this is my favourite part of these kind of projects because you can actually see what it is that you're making. And then I'm just measuring the length that I'd like the top platform to be. So like I said, I lost my ruler at this point. And I've gone ahead and cut out five pieces of the length which I'm going to secure together with another piece and some more hot glue. So next is where the nine pieces I'd measured and then cut out before are going to come in. First I'm reinforcing the base, I've stuck one down already and then I'm just sticking the next one in like so. Then I've stuck one at the top of the frame and this will be the support for the platform. So the platform itself was a little bit jagged at the end so I'm filing that down and then I'm sticking it in its rightful place. But we have six more of those little cut down pieces to use and they're going to be the stairs on the opposite side to the slide. To 
to finish it off a bit more, I'm going to add a little platform at the end of the stairs and slide. So I'm using four sticks and then cutting them down to what is the width of the slide plus the width of the thinnest edge of four popsicle sticks. And this actually measures at around 5.8 centimetres. So once I've cut these down, I've just secured them by gluing a small piece across and then I'm just going ahead and gluing them into place. One at the bottom of the slide and one at the bottom of the stairs. I didn't film this but I did actually glue two more little sticks here and here on each side just to balance it out a bit better but now I'm basically done. So I did just glue some more popsicle stick ends onto the sides of the platform but this was purely for decoration and is basically useless otherwise but I think it's a nice touch. Okay so the last piece in the playground set that I'm going to make today is the seesaw. And to do this I'm using a toilet roll tube and a load more popsicle sticks. So because the tube is almost the same length as the popsicle sticks that I have, I'm going to cut a little bit off the end so when I glue the sticks on it'll look a lot neater. I'm just using hot glue as always and gluing the sticks on one by one around the tube. And then I came to a gap when I'd nearly finished that wasn't quite big enough for me to glue on another stick so I cut super close to the edge of one of the sticks and then put glue on the exposed card and then close the gap by gluing this underneath. Next I'm taking a kebab stick that I've cut in half and gluing this as central as possible on each side of the tube but it doesn't really matter if they're slightly off centre though because the seesaw will work even if one side is prone to tilting. So next I'm just going to make the stand and for this I'm using three sticks for each side. I've basically just made a cross and I've glued these sticks together at the overlapping points and I've done this for both sides. So to make these stand up I'm gluing the edges underneath the X to two parallel popsicle sticks to form a square and then the stand is done. To finish off the seesaw, I'm just marking where I want to cut down the kebab sticks so they're not super on your face. And then we're done with that too. If you watch to the end of the video, you can see Mabel very elegantly trying everything out. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video please comment, like and subscribe.